Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. I'm your host, Lissan Faye. So, uh, last time, we beat up Dagothur. Yay! But now we've got to go stop his evil plans. Um, so I've got some directions for that. Uh, public notice. Um. No, from plan to defeat Dagothur. That one. Okay, one. It's a series of aggressive assaults. And let's destroy Dagothur. So, we have kind of done most of this. We're kind of on this last one. So, I'm going to scroll down to phase five. Phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five. Assault on Citadel Dagoth. All previous stages are preparations for this stage. Recent expeditions show that Citadel Dagoth has undergone extensive expansion. The location will need to be explored carefully. The known route to the Heart Chamber will be well defended. Alternative routes may exist. Dagothur will have anticipated our plan to destroy him by attacking the Heart. Um, and he will almost certainly oppose approach to the Heart Chamber. Together, the Tribunal could not defeat him. And he has grown stronger since then. Admittedly, the tribunal has the destruction of maintaining the ghost fence simultaneous with fighting Dagoth Ur, but even so, the challenge seems daunting. The adoption of this phase campaign seems to offer the best chances of success. In retrospect, the tribunal's decision. Okay, employing Kagnarek's tools, the source of Dagoth Ur's supernatural power is the heart of Lorcan. The heart is also the source of the tribunal's divine powers. During mythic times, the gods took and hid Lorcan's heart beneath Red Mountain as a punishment for creating the mortal plane. Um, the Dwemer discovered the heart while building the underground colonies. Uh, hi, craft lord Kagnarak. La da 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 da. Kagnarak sees to these tools and the disappearance of the Dwemer race marked the end of the war. Kagnarak's tools were recovered by Lord Narvarn Dagoth Ur. Um. We left Red Mountain. Uh, the plan is to permanently disrupt Kagnarok's enchantments upon the heart, severing the connection with Dagothur and ourselves and rendering us all once again mortal. A mortal Kagnarok, Kagranak, uh, may then be destroyed by mundane means. The loss of godhood and the possible death of the tribunal are judged a necessary risk and sacrifice. The normal procedure! For establishing connection with the heart is a three-step process the, where Wraith Guard strikes the heart with a hammer, sunder, causing the heart to produce a pure tone. Then the wearer of Wraith Guard strikes the heart with the blade keening, shattering the pure tone into a prism of tone shards. These tone shades... Shades? Tone shades. Are then imprinted upon the substance of the wearer of Wraith Guard, giving him an immortal and divine nature. The Nervarine will not be taught the secret rituals required to perform the third step. Instead, the Nervarine will... Strike the heart with keening for a second time, causing its tones to diverge into unstable patterns of interference. Further repeated strikes with keening will further disrupt the tones, with the ultimate result of shattering and dispelling Kagnarak's original enchantments, binding the heart, thereby severed. So, I'll strike with sundering, and strike with keening. A bunch. Gotcha. Um... Be warned, the Neverine cannot safely equip either Keening or send in less wearing Wraith Guard. The Neverine will be injured every moment. One last note. Well, too late for that. Um, alright, so... I guess I go, I equip Wraith Guard. I am going to equip Sunder. And, um, I'm going to be flying. Alright, so, we know what we're doing. Uh, you know, actually, maybe real, real quick. Uh. 
We'll put Keening here. And I'm just going to run and do it. What a fool you are. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? There is no escape. No recall or intervention can work in this place. Come, lay down your weapons. It is not too late for my mercy. This is it. Ow! Darn it. I accidentally tapped the wrong button. What are you doing? What are you doing, Wait. fool? Stop! This is the end. The bitter, bitter end. Oh. I just realized that that looks like a person. Like, yeah, that was the red cage. Heart was a little low. It's supposed to be protected by the red cage, wasn't it? Or typically, in normal physiology. Um. Journal. And I had to flee for my life. I see. the heart of Lord Khan within I struck the heart with sunder, then struck it again, again with keening until the enchantment was destroyed. Suffered from the sustaining power of the heart, Dagothor was destroyed. But the disturbance triggered an earthquake, and I had to flee for my life. So what? Do I take a sleep? This doesn't feel done game. How about sharing the web? You wake, you hear something and sense the presence of another nearby. Um... How about sharing the web? I have lots to show you. Alright, so that kind of bugged. I wonder if I'm... I wasn't supposed to... Well, I know how it works. And it's a good thing I've given myself time to escape. Alright, um... What is that? Heart ring. We'll take it.
What a fool you are. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? There is no escape. No recall or intervention can work in this place. Come, lay down your weapons. It is not too late for my mercy. Wait, hang on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Fool, stop! This is the end. The bitter, bitter end. get to watch this fall apart again. Well, I'm not going to stick around to watch it fall apart. Not really. That was interesting. Oh, so that's, yeah. So there's a path for me to Run along. Let me through. Okay. So, server, the power, check, but the disturbance triggered an earthquake and I had to flee for my life. Okay, but um, I'm doing the fleeing. You no longer oh, bear shit. the burden of prophecy. You have achieved your destiny. You are free. The doom Duima's folly, Lord Dagoth's temptation, the tribunal's seduction, the god's heart freed, the prophecy fulfilled. All fate sealed and sins redeemed. If you have pity, mourn the lost, but let the weeping cease. The blight is gone, and the sun's golden honey gilds the land. Hail, Savior, Hortator, and Nereverine. Your people look to you for protection. Monster and villains, great and small, still threaten the people of Vardenfell. Enemies and evils abound, yet indomitable will might rid Morrowind of all its ills. For you are thanks and blessings. Our gift and token given. Come, take this thing from the hand of God. Thank you. So, my journal has been updated. Uh, Ring of Azura. Night Eye and Restore Fatigue. Sweet. Journal. As I fled the destruction of the chamber of Akulakan, I encountered the presence of the Daedra Lord Azura. She told me I had achieved my destiny and was free. The prophecies are fulfilled in the Blight Khan, but now I am Portator Devarain, protector of Morrowind, and must defend the people from monsters and villains. She gave me a ring as a token of thanks and blessing. Um, with Dagothar destroyed, his insane dreams can no longer drive the people of Morrowind to madness as they sleep. Yay! Okay, so I probably bugged that myself by almsieving my way out of there, which makes way more sense. Like, Azura, seriously? You could have tracked me down. I'm just saying. Oh, she healed me. Thank you. Oh. 
No, I didn't know I had that. Anyways. Uh, let's, let's get out of here. And we'll chat. Because, yeah, that... Took a stupid amount of time. Ah, so... Farland returns to the rest of Morrowind. There's this dude that I don't care May about. May I help you? No. So, Farlin, what have we done? What have we accomplished? Well, first and foremost, you are the Archmage, Farlin, of the Mage's Guild. You rule over all things here. Right, that was one of the things that we set out to accomplish, and that we did successfully. There was no more to do there. Supposedly, I didn't... I can get more promotions in the Blades. Sure. I certainly have the ability to. And the Ashlanders. Yeah, I have no idea how to promote that. Morag Tongue, I don't really care about. I just did that to get some extra gold. Um, the Fighters Guild. Again. Kind of just did that so I could get health potions for free. Fairly regularly. Um, but yeah. In addition to all of this, Farlin became the Master Thief of the Thieves Guild. Which, I think technically, I can still do, um... Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What should we talk about? Some things. Like, uh... It will be nice to not have ash storms here in the main part of Morrowind anymore. Though there is still rain. Um... Loading. Um... We're just gonna go drop some things off. Anyways, weather will be nicer overall in Morrowind, which is great. Uh, maybe I'll go say hi to Vivek. I don't know. See if he's still alive. I was told this could end up killing the tribunal, which I suppose would make the DLC rather difficult. Hmm. You know, considering part of the tribunal, a third of it, Amalexia, is in charge of helping me out with uh, running that. I'm sure it didn't kill the tribunal. But yeah, um, I don't need Kagnarok's tools anymore. Move. Thank you. That was kind of my fault because I sort of pushed him. But, yeah. Well, I don't need Wraith Guard anymore. I don't need Sunder. And I don't need Keening. Take this and I'll take a nice break. And apparently I didn't need those. Oh, those don't fit anymore, darn. All because I put some legendary tools in the closet. God, I should just sell some of this. I could very easily. Um, anywho. So yeah, this is, well, the final episode with Farlin for a while. Um, 
So welcome for And to be honest, it's actually not that bad. We got a nice pretty night sky. I mean look at those moons. So, um, yeah. You know, let's let's go say hi to Vivek. Uh see if he has anything to say. But yeah, in case you haven't noticed, that ball that I hit in the DLC is a way harder fight than Dagothur. Mostly because they think the guy who I'm fighting in the DLC has about five times as much health. Um, like, that plays a huge role in it, and the armor he's wearing plays a huge role in it. Um... And then, yes, I still have... Um... What's a putz? Oh, greetings. How do you do? Maybe well, I find myself in pleasant company. Please share your thoughts. Ah, uh, send me to the back. I'd be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. Wee. How wonderful. Welcome, friend. The Welcome. Day. Uh, doesn't really matter. But yeah, so um, we also became the Grand Master House Lalu. So that's like three guilds that we pretty much maxed out. Um, so I'm not going to be upset about that. Um, but yeah, we'll go see how the Vex feeling. Hi, the blight is gone and we have survived. Now we must dedicate ourselves to rebuilding the temple, and you must dedicate yourself to the responsibilities as protector of Morrowind. We have survived. Uh, we have lost our divine powers, but not altogether. Some token of the people's faith remains, and we shall dedicate it to rebuilding the temple. Now that Dagothur is gone, we can turn our energies to the more humble needs of the people. It is good, honest work, and I believe there is redemption in it. Rebuilding the temple. There are still issues to be resolved between the temple and dissident priests. And now that our greatest enemy is gone, we must reorganize the temple to meet the needs of the people. We have less need of ordinators, for example, the greater need of priests and healers and teachers, and we must find time to mourn and honor the dead. Without the power of, our heart, of the heart, our divine powers diminish. Our days as gods are numbered. I have told my priests that I shall withdraw from the world and that the temple should be prepared for a change. We may be honored no longer as gods but as saints and heroes and the temple will return to the faith of our forefathers the worship of our ancestors and the three good good daedra azura Mephala, and boethia the missions and traditions of the temple must continue but without its living gods protector of morrowind there is much to do you still have kagnarak's tools potent weapons and the wit and experience of a proven hero the tribunal and the temple are happy to yield to you the duties of fighting the enemies of morrowind much to do really there are many blighted beasts and horrors that have survived and must be hunted down and destroyed there are lesser monsters and villains of all kinds who prey upon the people there are unsolved mysteries and legendary treasures undiscovered i'm sure you'll find much to occupy you Lovely. Thanks, Vivek. So. Yeah. 
that's kind of it. Well, let's wait till some daylight. It just had to be foggy, didn't it? Well, all right. Let's just go home to our banner that we've earned with our bed and drink and where we may sleep. All right, well, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to this series um, thus far. And sometime down the line, maybe we'll revisit Farlin and do the two DLC of Blood Moon and Tribunal, since we've already done most of Tribunal. Um, but I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails.